Kurt Oh, hello, High Curtain Enforcement. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not bad. General Inquiry, can you deal with it, mate? Yes. Yep. Um, I've seen one of your letters, and on it, it states that uh, paragraph 15, schedule 12, of the Tribunal Courts and Enforcement Act 207, um, it says that you can force entry for a civil debt on that one. Um, could you... Wait, sorry, which one are you referring to? Paragraph 15. Which reference number? Sorry, I've not got a reference number. Um, paragraph 15, schedule 12, of the Tribunal Courts and Enforcement Act 207, and it's got on there that you can force entry. But um, when I've looked at it, um, is all I can find is that it's uh, practice notes for commercial rent arrears. Could you um, enlighten oh, me, please? Sorry, you're talking about rent. I, d I don't know what you're talking about at all. I don't know what form you've got. Right, it's not a form, it's a letter you've sent out. And it's well, you must, if you've got the letter, you must have the reference so I know what you're talking about because we've got different departments. Well, no, no, it's, it, it's, it's a standard letter that you sent out. I've already spoke to the um, guy that you put the number on the bottom of, but um, as soon as I started talking legal to him, he put the phone down on me. So I thought I'd give, you know, the head office a ring. You know, you should be able to give me a more professional service than uh, some... I, I can help you, but I don't know what form you're talking about. I don't what? know what... Case. On your letters, Obviously, on your letters... Got, Sorry, can I just finish? If Go you're on, speaking then. about an agent, you must have had an agent's telephone number to refer to a specific case. So you must have on there our reference number. I can't answer you without knowing what I'm talking about. Right, on one of I'm your afraid. letters, on a letter that your can company... Can you give me our reference number, No, please? I can't because it's not my reference number and I can't see the reference number on the, on the form. So, are so, you the debtor? Are you the person concerned? I'd like you to answer my question first, please. It I says... I, I, Paragraph I can't 15. Ask you a because I don't understand which form you're referring right. to. Right, what I'm basically saying is you are fraudulently sending out letters to people and you are citing paragraph 15, schedule 12 of the Tribunal Courts and Enforcement Act 207 and you are stating that you are going to force entry for a civil debt. And when I've looked up this part of law that you are quoting, which is on one of your standard letters, it actually comes as a practice note. <laughs> For commercial rent arrears and it's nothing so to do. Need, so you don't need me then? You need well, no, my it's your company you're... sending out these letters. So I want to know why you're threatening with people with stuff that you can't enforce. But you're not, uh, you're not asking me for a specific department. Do you need to have the um, commercial services department? No, because I'd like, I'd I... like to speak to someone about civil debt in your company, please. But you've just said rent arrears. Exactly. You're sending out a letter stating you're going to force entry for someone that has got a civil debt sorry, and not sorry, rent arrears, you, and you're quoting sorry. rent arrears. You're trying to talk to me, but you're actually screaming down the phone at me. Well, no, I'm not. I'm but, talking. Yes, you actually are. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not screaming. Your, your voice screaming is, is this. Ah! That's screaming. <laughs> I'm talking. Sorry, I've just had to take off my headset. Do you want to speak to me properly now? Yes, I've been speaking to you properly all the way through. Well, you've just screamed as well. Yes, you said that I was screaming, and so I thought I'd show you what screaming was. Right, OK, well, I'm not obtuse. I do understand what screaming is, but your volume of your tone and everything... The volume of my tone? Louder. Your volume and your tone has My got volume and, and my tone. Would you so like me... Need, would you like you me to speak gentler? Answered? Yes, please. Do you please. want those questions answered? Right, which yes, department please. do you need? Well, tell me what you departments need... you have. We have um, commercial services department, we have high court enforcement, we have bailiff teams on Excel civil enforcement. It just depends what you need. This is why I, I can't answer you because I don't know what you're talking about. Can you tell me the name of the agent you spoke to, please? Yes, P. Morgan. Right, OK. Do you want to hold while I contact him? Because I don't know no, which department No, I've already to contacted him and he got done on the phone, so he's not responding anymore. Well, can so I speak to him and then I'll I'd send like, back Who to is you. his manager? If you've got a complaint, who? it'll have to come in in writing. I didn't say I had a complaint. I said, who is his manager? We have um, a bailiff manager, an overall bailiff manager. Can I speak to the bailiff want? manager, please? Who are you? What's your name? My name's Mr Smith. On what case are you ringing on, Mr Smith? I'm just, I've just got a general inquiry. So you're, you've got a general inquiry regarding a letter that you've got. Can I ask you how A letter that you've... I've seen. A letter that you've seen. So yes. the letter that you've seen... Can I just ask, are you happy with my tone now? Yes, I am, because I can actually hear you without Wonderful. having to take my headset off. Thank Wonderful. you. Thank you. What I would like to say is that you've seen a letter... Yes. And it's not relating to you... It might be. 
Right, okay. So, Can I speak to the bailiff you... manager, please? Well, I'm not going to put you through to the bailiff manager if you I don't lied. have an idea. You said that you would. You lied. I don't know what case it is, and he will not take a call from just an unsolicited person. So an unsolicited I person? I'm not a person either. You're not a person. No. Right, okay. I'm a man. Are you? I'm a man. You're a man, I'm right. A man. So he will not take a call off a man who will want to just speak to him randomly about a letter that you have cited. Yes. So he won't take the call. This That's is what we have staff for, it's to protect people higher. Protect? And this is why we have to put Do they need through. protection? Are they scared? Not particularly, no. Then put the phone through, put the call through then. I will not. No, oh, you will not. You're never going to get this done, are you? So, P. Morgan, you just spoke to and hung up. He hung up, yes. So he's hung up, yes. okay. So, you're ringing regarding a letter that you have cited. Yes. And you want to speak to a bailiff manager. Yes, I'd like to speak to someone right. that's got any legal knowledge, because obviously you haven't. No, no, I'm not legally qualified, and I've never said I was. Wonderful. So, can you put me on okay. someone with legal training, please? Well, if you need somebody with legal training, I suggest you ring solicitors or no, no. Advice Bureau. Or I don't. Ne- I have legal training. You, you need someone training. from your company that has legal training. You have legal training. Right. I have legal okay. training. Yes. Right. I'm not legally qualified, so I cannot give you legal advice. So, could you put me onto someone from your company that knows what they're talking about, please? But I don't know what I'm talking about. Exactly. So, put me onto someone else. But I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what form you're referring. To. I don't put know me what on to anyone that has got so legal training you in your company. Unless you give me a case reference number, I'm not putting you through to anybody, I'm sorry. Then, uh, that's fine. Do you want to leave the call go, or...? Sorry? What What do you want to do with this call? I would like to been speak on the phone to someone some with legal training. And, well, I can't put you through unless you give me a case reference you number, You can't or you won't. I can't, you because can't. they won't make your call anyway. Oh my God, you can't? No, I can't. Is there someone standing there with a gun to your head? I hope they sneeze. Hello? Right, so I've got your name is Mr Smith. That's correct. That's one thing you've got, right? Yes. So you want me to put you through as Mr Smith regarding a letter that you have cited which may or may not belong to you. Yes. Right. Why Why would we waste our time speaking with you? You're already wasting your time. It makes no difference. I sit here and get paid for it. Wicked. It makes no difference whatsoever. Wonderful. Have you ever thought about being a lollipop lady? It's probably loads more job satisfaction. Because you don't sound happy out there, you know. Really? Yeah. I love my job. Do you? Yeah. Do you love your job? Yes, I do. Threatening people for money, yeah? No, there's a court proceeding. No, 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 no. You're quoting a practice note for commercial rent arrears to someone that's got a civil debt. So that could be construed as unlawful. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Because you've got no legal training. No, I've got no legal training. No. If I had legal training, I'd be working somewhere else. Great. Where where that would be. Hopefully, somewhere required. worthwhile. Hopefully, you'd be putting it to good rather than sort of like you know trying to intimidate people into pain. I'm not intimidating anybody. I, I find you quite intimidating. Do you really? Yes. You you for me. I've asked you what you want me to do. Yep, I've told you what I want you to do, but you've not well, got the training to be able to do it. T- I, well. It's a big hole of water in it, but that's not really important right now. I'm sorry? Don't be sorry. Just put me through to someone I, I can I speak to. I couldn't hear you. That's okay. Just put me through to someone that has some legal training, please. Who's your manager? If you look at the website for our company... I'm sorry, I have no eyes. Be... I can't look at a website. I said if you look at a website for our company... Or I have no eyes. I can't look at the website. I'm blind. Right, you don't, you're blind, okay. Yes. Well, is, have you got your assistant with you then? No. Right, okay. So can you put me through to someone now, please? Do you want me to read to you from our website? No, because I wouldn't believe you, because I don't think you're a very uh, moral person. Right, because I work here. 
Yes. So right, what I'd okay. like to do, uh, and under the Disability Discrimination Act, you have a duty of care towards me now that you know that I have a disability. I would like you to put me through to someone that can answer my I'll query. I'll put you on hold, OK? I can't Please don't leave me on hold for too long. I have to change my catheter bag. Right, whatever. Bear with me. Whatever. Hello? Hi, I can't get through to anybody at this stage. Who's your manager, please? Pardon? Who is your manager? Why are you asking me this? And why are you because recording I'm not the happy. call without telling me that you're recording because, the call? Because I'm not happy with your service and I don't have to tell you anything about recording my calls. They're yes, my you calls. Do. No, I don't. Tell me tell yes, me the law do. on that, considering I know you're not legally trained. <laughs> Go on, tell me the law, considering I know you're not legally trained. <laughs> oh, you're too easy. Manager! Right, what do you need to know? You're, you're talking to about a notice, you're referring to a notice. I would like to put you through to somebody that will... I can't hear you. But you won't give me any reference. Hello? 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 Come and speak law with me, please. I'm not legally qualified, I'm afraid. Oh, um, don't be afraid. You're on a telephone. You don't have to be afraid. If you're scared, put me on to your manager, because that's who I need to speak to. Regarding what? I can hardly hear you. Can you put the phone near your mouth? I can't hear. I can hear mumbles. Um, well, I think it's time to terminate the call now. Don't terminate, please. Terminate yeah. means you're killing something. Why can't you just say, oh, I'm not happy with this call. Why Who's your manager? Why won't you tell me who your manager is? Is it because you've done a boo-boo? No, not at all. I've just asked you who you want to speak to. Your manager. I can't think of who's the manager saying this. Who is your manager? Who is your manager? I would like to speak to your manager, please. Can I ask you something? If you signed the document, how can, can you speak clearer? Can you speak clearer? Hello? Hello? I'm just going to terminate the call at this stage because you just. Um, I'd like to know who your manager is. So I think you're rude. You're immoral and you're rude. You are quoting law, which is not the correct law, aren't you?